That's it. We may as well give up. The robots are going to be doing all of our jobs. All of them. So what do we do? Two words. Beach and scotch. Hey there humans and possible sentient Roombas out there. Occasionally we have conversations here on DNews about robots taking over and how horrible it will be when the robot overlords enslave us all. But maybe, just maybe, there is a sunny side to this matrix. Prior to the Industrial Revolution, we did not work like we do now. When the revolution hit, hours worked per week increased 20% or more. Organized labor brought more standardized hours. Safety, better pay, etc. But we still work a lot. What if robots could take over all the tasks? Couldn't we work a bit less? We've been struggling on this planet for a couple million years. <laughs> Why not a break? Robots already dominate many blue-collar jobs, and now two MIT professors, originally penning a book about how great automation was, have decided to do some economic rethinking. They believe it's only a matter of time before the machines come for our middle-class jobs, and eventually our white-collar jobs, too. The professors believe that we can outpace the robots, for now. But we're going to need a whole new economic system, and soon. Before we get ahead of ourselves, robots aren't necessarily a negative for our society, even now. According to Wanted Analytics, robot-related jobs in the United States increased 29% from 2011 to 2012, which is double the growth of 2010 to 11. At the moment, robotics aren't quite advanced enough to take over everything, but it is coming. Already, basic research, cleaning, manufacturing, legal work, surgical procedures, driving, taxes, farming, and hundreds of other jobs are done by robots. Ultimately, no job is robot-proof. As robots take over lower-level jobs, they're going to move their way up the chain. We're going to have doctor robots, journalist robots, there's already one that can write sports stories, lawyer robots, designer robots, uh, advisor and psychology robots, architect robots, stockbroker robots, although the computers have pretty much already won that. They'll take in vast amounts of information, they'll put it back out in the best way possible, and they will be programmed to read your moods, answer your questions, and help you. Are you scared? I mean, I'm not. Think of it this way. If you didn't need to pay for the labor to make a car part, ship it, and then use that part to get your car fixed, how much would it cost to fix a car? Not to mention the car could diagnose its own problems and perhaps even drive itself to the mechanic who would be a robot. Freeing you up to, well, live, read, explore, enjoy the world around you. Sounds pretty excellent, huh? Which robot future do you see happening? This one or the evil robot takeover espoused by Hollywood and sometimes it's programmed? Tell us about it on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+, or right here in the comments. And if you can program a robot to tell us, even better. Make sure that you subscribe for more DNews, everyone. Thanks a lot for watching.